Hello students, welcome back to Programming in C. Myself Srikanth. So today we are discussing about, uh, still we are in computer fundamentals. The agenda of this session about block diagram of computer. See, we discussed in detail what is computer, what are the basic components of computer systems like software, hardware, firmware, and a humanware. Like softwares are nothing but what? All the intangible components of the computer systems are known as what? Software. And examples like Windows based applications, Notepads, Microsoft Word, Excel, Windows Media Players, Antiviruses. See, these are all belonging to what? Software applications. Hardware, all the tangible components of the computer systems are known as what? Hardware, like phys physical components of the computer, what we can touch and feel. Those are all comes under what? Computer hardware, like CPU, microprocessors, monitor, keyboard, mouse, speakers, printers, scanners, and so on, right? And uh, firmware, firmware can be defined as what? Group of software and hardware, represents what? Firmware. For computer systems, without hardware components, software have no meaning. And without the software components, hardware have no meaning. See, both of these components, the software and hardware, are mutually dependent. See, both of them must work together in order to make what? Computer produce some useful output. This group is called a what? Firmware. The best examples like all the software applications are programs are installed in the secondary storage devices like hard disk see, which is what hardware component and uh, human way right user end user or an operator who uses the computer machine is known as human wear. Human wear can be a computer professionals or students or end users, normal users or any other person who operate the computer machine for completing their task or work. Those are all called human wear. So this is what we discussed previously. These are all basic components of computer systems like what? Software, hardware, firmware and human wear. See, today we try to discuss in detail about what? Block diagram or anatomy of a computer. See, in the previous video session, I explained about computer architecture architectures, uh, one human architecture, Harvard architectures, most popular architecture with the differences, right? See, what is this block diagram of computer? See, it consists of what? Hardware, software, integrated and synchronized together to perform what? Computational work or data processing operations. We may call it what? These belonging to what? Block diagram of computer. Major functional units are input unit, memory or storage unit, CPU, central processing unit, another one called output unit. See, these four belonging to what? Major functional units of what? Computer or anatomy of a computer, okay? So this is about block diagram of computer. So your anatomy of a computer. So this is about input unit. From the input unit, we are passing set of data and instructions to the computer. So how we are passing these data and instructions, we discussed several input unit devices, right? Like keyboard, mouse, trackball, light pen, joystick, OMR, touch screen, MICR, barcode reader, scanner or image scanner, digital camera, microphone, graphic tablet or digitizer, so on, etc. So many input devices are available in the market with the help of these input devices we are passing data or instructions to the computer okay see once data and instruction pass with the help of input device that moves to our cpu central processing unit it consists again what control unit alu arithmetic logical unit another called registers. Registers consist what? Process registers like program counters, accumulators, memory address registers, memory data registers. These are all belonging to within a CPU and it is and it is interlinked with what? Memory unit. Memory unit also called storage unit of a computer. See we discussed in the previous video sessions like various memory units right? Like primary memories, secondary memories like primary memories like RAM, ROM, cache memory, virtual memories. In secondary memories, we discussed about what? Magnetic disk, optical disk, and solid state storages. Once these 
processor is going to be receives that data or instructions from the input unit that stores into the memory unit once it stores into the main memory then processor is going to be start for processing it the and control unit transfers that data from what memory unit to what this arithmetic logical unit operation it, it going to be do what business logic operations arithmetic related operations like addition subtraction multiplication divisions logical unit operations like and operation or operation not operations like this uh, logical operations are going to be executed in alu after processing this data and instructions from the input unit that processed information is going to be stored in again in what memory unit from this memory unit again control unit passes that processed information into the several output devices called output units like soft copy and hard copy <coughs> excuse me the in the soft copy like several soft copy output devices we discussed computer monitors like crt cathode ray tubes liquid crystal displays light emitting diodes thin film transistors these are all what various monitors computer monitors and if it is in the uh, mp3 like it going to be produces the vo uh, like voice or like music are in the form of what speakers this is what soft copy so i want to get that output permanently in the form of what paper then we go with what hard copy examples like several hard copy devices we discussed like printers like character printers line printers like dot matrix daisy wheel chain printers drum printers inkjet printers laser printers and plotters like drum plotters flat bit plotters like that so this is the basic functionality of what computer so we are passing any kind of data or instructions with the help of what input devices called input unit once we passed this processor is responsible to take that instructions with the help of control unit stores that instructions into the memory unit before processing after that it going to be process that data during process also that information stored into the main memory after processing also the data stored into the main memory from the main memory process data is going to be sending to what this control unit responsible to sending in sending that processed information into what output unit called several output devices the form of soft copies like generally monitors and hard copies like printers so this is the workflow of what block diagram or anatomy of a computer okay so we discussed one by one input unit see uh, if you miss the previous video sessions about input unit uh, attach it to that video link into the description box regarding this input units and output units and memory units all these links i provided in the description box kindly go through in depth of the input unit working each and every devices we discuss with advantages disadvantages where exactly we are using how it is functioning the characteristics in detailed we discussed about input units memory units and output units i provide i will provide that uh, video links in the description box just go through that once okay see here input unit input devices are those peripheral devices that are used to what supply input to the computer how we are passing the input with the help of what data instructions these input devices enables the user to what send data information or control signals to a computer the cpu cpu stands for what central processing unit of a computer receives the input and process it to what produce the output see currently we are using what fourth generation computers these cpus we may call it what microprocessors central processing unit is nothing but what microprocessor okay so that is about what microprocessors this is a way we can pass what input input is nothing but what as a computer process the data according to the instructions given to it and produce the results with the help of what processors okay see this is about list of input to devices observe various list of input devices we are already discussed in detail about each devices right like keyboard mouse trackball joystick light pen touch screen omr optical mark readers micr magnetic ink character recognitions barcode readers scanner or image scanners digital camera microphone graph graphic tablet or digitizer ocr optical character reader smart card infrared remote light gun touch pad paddle steering wheel 
gesture recognition devices virtual reality webcam biometric devices qr code scanner stylus these are all what various input to devices available in the market with the help of these input devices we are passing data instructions to the computer okay so in the in our programming language we are writing what set of programming code we are passing data and instructions in the form of our program code with the help of this generally we are using what keyboard okay keyboard and mouse we are familiar to use in the computers okay so next coming to the memory or storage unit it is also the component of what the block diagram of computer see as we discussed memory is the storage area of a computer where all the inputs data as well as instructions are stored like before processing see already explained about memory storage unit right simply you can remember it is a storage area it can process before process data during processing data or after processing data in computer whatever the operations you are doing that instructions data informations everything is going to be stored into what memory okay memory takes very vital role in what block diagram or component of a computer see after that after processing that it going to be produce what results okay that information we may call it that outputs are stored after processing of inputs so this is what simply telling memory is a storage area of computer where all the inputs data as well as instructions are stored before processing and the outputs are stored after processing of inputs see it provides the space for storing of data and instructions like before processing during processing and after processing that take care and by what memory or storage unit so it consists what several characteristics of memory systems we discuss storage capacity access time cost per bit storage volatile locations like cpu registers internal or main memories external or secondary memories with several devices access mode like sequential access random access direct access these are all what various characteristics of memory systems already i given very detailed description about all these things okay if you missed that session i provided description box uh, i provided all the links in the description box kindly go through that okay see we are already discussed about this computer memory just for understanding here these memories are primary storages internal processor memories like registers secondary storages basically it categorized by what primary storage and secondary storage we discussed primary storages like different types ram random access memory categorized by static random access memory and dynamic random access memory rom read only memory again it categorized by what mask rom programmable read only memory electrical programmable erasable programmable read only memory electrically erasable programmable read only memory flash rom cache memory virtual memory like various primary storages we had discussed coming to the secondary storages we discussed about what magnetic optical solid state storage on that magnetic storage again we discussed about magnetic tapes and magnetic disk in the magnetic tape we discussed about cartridge drives cassette drives in the magnetic disk we discussed about floppy disk hard disk or fixed disk in case of optical storages we discussed about cd rom compact disk read only memory like warm disk cd or recordable rewritable cd rw dvd rom and bd blu ray disk and solid state storage we discussed about what flash or pen drives memory cards like uh, secure digital cards sd cards multimedia cards like mmc cards we discussed in detail about various devices of what computer memory in the computer okay so if you missed the session just go through this memory topic i provided that links in the description box okay yes today we discuss in detail about what cpu see what is this cpu cpu stands for what central processing unit see is considered as what brain of the computer cpu is also considered what brain of the computer it is also called as a microprocessor for every generation has its own processors see in the generations of computer I explained about in detail different types of processors okay at present we are using fourth generation computers here we may call it is microprocessors see it is the fastest and costly unit of the computer system 
all major calculations and uh, comparisons are made inside the cpu see cpu converts all the supplied input into required output as per the instructions supplied by the user the performance and the speed of the computer mainly depend upon the type of microprocessor installed in it see the different types of microprocessors are available in the market based on the particular microprocessor processor performance is going to be varies about your computer okay within a cpu there exist a temporary storage locations known as registers see these are used for what storage of small data in the form of what bits maximum like bytes but generally it stores what bits up to 64 bits like that okay so registers are being used for what faster data supply to processor for processing see the number like size and capacity of registers in cpu can affect the processing power okay see it categorized again what control unit and arithmetical logical unit but we'll discuss before that what just i brush up here some the major points i written here like cpu is nothing but what brain of the computer it is fastest and costly unit calculation and comparisons see these are transistor cpus like small scale integration cpus large scale integration cpus like microprocessors these are all what various generations of what processors a microprocessor also simply called a what processor or cpu is a computer processor that is implemented on what single or more integrated circuits ics simply we can call it see the microprocessor is what multi purpose clock driven register based digital integrated circuit that accepts what binary data as a input see we are working on what digital computers always remember digital computers are discrete computers it understood only what binary data represented by what only zeros and ones already in detailed explanation i provided regarding these in the previous video sessions okay see this microprocessor contains what both combinational logic and sequential digital logic okay this microprocessor operates on what numbers and symbols represented in the binary number systems okay based on the ascii standards american standard code information interchange i explained about ascii 7 ascii 8 standard codes right yes the examples like intel 4004 like single chip see you can observe in the market see some operating systems some processors are handled with what 8 bit 12 bit 16 bit 32 bit 64 bit like that see what is this 8 bit designs see already explained about what bits right what is bit how to calculate these bits in the digital computers how to represents that bit formats see in the previous video sessions i explained about what bits also see here 8 bit designs represents what best examples like intel 8008 the world's first 8 bit microprocessors are used in a intel 8008 machines 12 bit designs like intercell 6100 family like uh, consist of what 12 bit microprocessors like uh, and range of peripheral supports and memory ics ics means what integrated circuits okay the 16 bit designs like 16 bit microprocessor was the national semiconductor conductor imp16 introduced in what early 1970s 1973 okay next 32 bit designs like 32 bit designs is a motorola mc68000 introduced in what 1979s 64 bit designs in a personal computers early 1990s including what like 64 gaming consoles in 1996 like see if you are if you are any software you try to download or any uh, compatible of operating system generally it going to be represented by what like uh, x86 or x64 see it represents what 32 bit representation 64 means what 64 bit representations okay remember these points so it is mostly used for what high level programming language especially we are downloading any kind of java softwares or c c++ android like any kind of softwares you try to download oracle database softwares you need to check out the operating system compatibilities It depends upon what this bits only x86 x64 like that okay see there that time they also used what amd64 okay next risk like uh, 
reduced instruction set computer it is high performance it released in the mid 1980s early 1990s like ibm 801 computers are used what risk a multi core processor is a single chip that contains what more than one micro processor cores so these are all about what cpu a central processing unit so it consists several several things are there but here i added what the so what are the major points required in the fundamentals of computer and you need to remember what kind of points are required and using further in our programming okay so observe this is a cpu central processing unit like currently we are using what von neumann architecture in the previous video session explained about what is von neumann architecture and modified harvard architecture what are the functionalities characteristics advantages and disadvantages and where the von neumann architectures are used and harvard architectures are used in detailed explanation provided in the previous video session just go through that once okay see generally it consists what control unit we can call it cu control unit arithmetic logical unit alu arithmetic logical unit and processor registers see a central processing unit also called what central processor main processor or processor everything is same currently we are using fourth generation computers only generally it name with what microprocessor but it may comes with a different types of advanced microprocessors are available in the market we may call it processor main processor central processor cpu everything is going to be same word it gives same meaning so is electronic circuitry with a computer that executes instructions that makes up a computer program see what this cpu performs basic what arithmetic operations logical operations controlling data and instructions and communication between these alu to the memory units and input devices output devices peripheral devices like everything is going to be taken by what cpu okay see this contrast with what external components such as main memory and io circuitry and specialized processors such as gpus graphics processing unit gpus see most modern cpus are implemented on ic's integrated circuit microprocessors with one or more cpus on a single metal oxide semiconductors mos ic chip microprocessors chips with what multiple cpus or multi core processors see an ic that contains a cpu may also contain memory peripheral interfaces and other components of a computer such integrated devices are variously called microcontrollers or system on a chip soc systems on a chip several operations of cpus like fetch decode execute data operations structure and implementation coming to structure and implementation it can perform control unit arithmetic logical unit address generation in unit agu memory management unit mmu like cache memory clock rates voltage regulator model inti integer range parallelism instruction level parallelism task level parallelism data parallelism like several kind of structure and implementation is done by what cpu different types of cpus like single core cpu dual core cpu quad core cpus octa core hexa core so if you can observe in the mobile they are also using some processors like so you are familiar with what dual core processor quad core processor octa core processor hexa core processor like it going to be comes with different kinds of processor based on the high performance of the processor it gives what high level compatibility high processing speed uh, like fast of your computers if you are purchasing what low level processors then it going to be gives what the poor performance of the computers okay always purchase what high performance of what processors okay coming to history like eniac fixed program computers see we discussed in the generations of computers in the previous video sessions everywhere we are using right eniac means what electronic discrete variable automatic computers right see edvac first stored program computers see this edvac electronic discrete variable automatic computers eniac is nothing but what electronic numerical integrator analyzer 
computers we may call it okay so coming to examples various cpus like graphics processing unit gpu vision various processing units are available in the market like vision processing unit like vpu tensor processing unit like tpu neural processing unit like npu physical processing unit like ppu and uh, uh, digital signal processing like dsp image signal processors like isp like uh, synergistic processing elements or unit like sp or spu in the cell microprocessors field programmable gate array fpga these are all what various processing units okay yeah that uh, that available in what various types of cpus okay so this is very important for different types of cpus while purchasing the microprocessor you need to look out the performance and speed and version advanced version of processors see it majorly consists what two sub components of cpus like control unit alu arithmetic and logical unit it also consists process registers but majorly it consists what control unit and another one is called arithmetic and logical unit see what is this control unit a control unit is a major component of the computer which helps in the functioning of the central processing unit and in turn runs the whole computer see control unit works as a supervisor or monitor in the system it supervises or controls all the activities of various functional units of the computer see it fetches fetches means what getting like transfers the required instructions from the main memory interprets them and then sends them to what alu for what processing okay it controls the execution of what instructions in a particular order like sequential order it works as a central nervous system for the computer it controls the flow of data to and form the main memory it sends and receives control signals from various peripheral devices it ensures the the data reaches the correct place at the correct time or not okay simply control units acts as what monitor that tells the other components what to do when to do and how to do that is that is done by what control unit okay simply control units acts as what monitoring complete operations of the computer that tells the other components like what to do when to do and how to do that is done by what c control unit okay and alu so just only i told you alu stands for what arithmetic and logical unit the function of alu is to perform the actual calculations in the computer it performs arithmetic like addition subtraction multiplication and division and logical like comparisons or decisions calculations in the computer see under the control of the control unit the data and instructions stored in the primary storage and transferred to what alu for what processing okay it going to be do processing alu for what processing alu performs the calculations and sends intermediate and final results to the main memory no processing is done in the primary storage unit okay everything is done within the alu in some computer processors the alu is divided into what two distinct parts like a u arithmetic unit also called arithmetic operations and l u l u stands for what logical unit also we can call logical related operations a u performs the arithmetic operation and l u performs the logical operations see l u has internally what two temporary registers into which the incoming data from memory is loaded and then operated inside a l u okay Yes. See, this uh, uh, processor speed generally is defined as the number of computer instructions executed per second. A CPU executes a certain amount of instructions within a grouping called a cycle. Okay. The measuring units is generally this uh, processors are measuring units is what megahertz or gigahertz. The expression megahertz denotes what one million cycles per second. Gigahertz means what one billion cycles per second. Okay, so this is about what ALU arithmetic 
logical unit operations okay i hope you clear about what i discussed about what cpu central processing unit what is cpu what is control unit what control unit is doing what is alu this what i discussed how it is going to be communicating with what memory units clear right everyone about the cpu and control unit alu next one is what and last one is about what output unit see output unit is simply we can call it what it to produce output or result after processing of data values are called as output to device simply i can tell after processed data whatever we are getting that is called information that information is represent what output okay an output device is any piece of computer hardware okay which converts the information in what human readable form it can be what text graphics audios videos images and so on so generally examples of output like vd right visual display units like monitors several monitors we discuss printers for getting a hard copy of the particular information like graphic output devices plotters speakers speech synthesizers these are all what examples of what output unit okay see basically it categorized by two things one is called soft copy another called what hard copy okay soft copies like computer monitors speakers hard copies are nothing but printers and plotters i provided already in detailed explanation regarding this output devices if you need more information regarding this just go and check it out that output unit or output devices so different types of monitors already we discussed about crts like cathode ray tubes lcd like liquid crystal displays tfts like thin film transistors leds like light emitting diodes fpd like flat panel displays oled like organic light emitting diodes oled or organic led and pdp like plasma display panel these are all various types of monitors are available in the market and also we discussed various printers like impact printers non impact printers in case of impact printers character printers and line printers the character printers again categorized dot matrix printers and daisy wheel printers line printers like chain printers drum printers the non impact printers line printers like inkjet printers and page printers like laser printers i provided in detail explanation in the printers topic okay that link also i mentioned uh, i will provide in the description box okay for more information regarding printers so this is what the complete a picture of what computers these computer consists input devices storage devices input output ports like several output devices like primary memories like rom ram caches virtual memories like units of memory we discuss bits bytes kilobytes megabytes gigabytes terabytes petabytes exabytes zettabytes like that okay and also we discussed several output devices like printers inkjet dot matrix laser speakers interactive uh, like boards like mmp like projectors like mmp like Like, uh, pico projectors like monitors like lcd crt led tfts and types like uh, different types of computers super computers hybrid computers mainframe smartphones like uh, laptops and so on tablets desktop these are all various types of computers we discussed storage devices like diskettes diskette dvds hard disk cd roms sd cards flash flash devices cloud storages like that input devices we discussed mouse light pens microphone webcams keyboard barcode readers joystick digitizers touch screens screen like uh, scanners like cmrs ocr like these are all what various input outputs like usb ports vga ports network ports audio jack like that okay several input devices mouse uh, in, another called input output ports like hdmi audio jack network port vga port see so these are all what various devices are connecting with the computer see in this session we discussed in detail about what what is the architecture and block diagram of computer or anatomy of computer okay with the detailed explanation of what input units cpus memory unit output unit how it is functioning from input unit to the processor uh, from the processor how it is going to be internally interact with the memory units arithmetic logical unit control unit and registers and after processing data how it moves to the output uh, units okay so i hope all are understood about the block diagram and anatomy of a computers okay so if you like my videos make it like if you're not subscribed kindly subscribe my videos for more updates of what the various courses of computers at present we are discussing computer programming fundamentals as well as what programming in c language okay okay thank you for watching my videos thank you